Hello, what's up guys? It's Delta Warfare and today I'm bringing you the long-awaited setup video. Now guys, I have an update. Sorry that the video is shaky. I'm not using a tripod or anything like that and everything, but I do have an announcement. I do have like a, you know, disclaimer for this video here. So in other words, there's going to be a couple of things that I want to say to you guys before we get into the setup and everything. But if you're a little impatient and, and you want to just see this setup right now, all you have to do, I'll put a little, you know, time marker on the screen and you can just skip to that point in the video and that is where the setup will be so hopefully that makes sense to you guys and everything but what i wanted to say this is actually really important and i wish you guys would watch it you know i wish you would watch the whole video and watch the disclaimer because it is really important and i need to get this out to you guys but if you want to go ahead and skip to the setup video It'll be right here. Go ahead. There's a time right there. But anyway, what I wanted to tell you guys, the disclaimer was, is that I'm not making this video to brag. I'm not bragging about anything. You know, I'm only simply making this video for you guys. You know, I know you guys wanted this a long, a long time ago. You know, this is long awaited. I understand that. I get that. I finally got around to making this video for you guys. So hopefully you do enjoy it and do not take it the wrong way because, you know, I try not to take anything for granted. I'm, I'm grateful for all of the things I have. And I'm very lucky to have this setup here. I mean, it's not the best. Of course, it's not the best, but it's really good and it's you know it's actually better than it was say two or three years ago and everything so uh you know like i said anything that you see here you know just don't take it the wrong way don't take it the wrong way at all of course this is a setup video and everything but you know you guys out there watching this video actually helped in some way in this setup and everything so you guys definitely deserve this video and deserve to see this setup because if you're watching the video right now then you had something you know even if you didn't donate or anything to the channel you had some part in this setup in this video right here and of course once we get deep down into the setup video i'll i'll explain what i'm talking about by that i just want to take a second to thank you guys thank thank each and every single one of you guys out there that you know continuously support this channel and watch my videos i appreciate each and every single one of you guys thank you for you know leaving all the likes all the comments all the you know you guys that share my videos and you know just come by to just watch them and everything you know, I, I just appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I want to say sorry that it's taken me long uh, or this long to actually make this video. I've been wanting to make it. Definitely have been wanting to make this video for you guys. It's been a long time coming, like I keep saying and everything. And, you know, I just want to say thank you. So, guys, I hope you seriously do enjoy this setup. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section down below and honestly just get ready because this is going to be a long long video honestly but you know it is what it is so let's just go ahead and get straight into it guys thank you for watching thank you for supporting let's get straight into it all right guys so let's get into the setup portion of the video here you can see my setup on the screen this is how it looks with everything together or if you're just standing up in my room and just looking at it and everything this is the way my setup looks just a quick little disclaimer for you guys there is going to be some dust i actually do clean my setup and my desk and everything but i didn't do it for this video specifically so there is going to be some dust and some grime here and there if you will so just keep that in mind and just try to ignore that and also everything that you see right here i will give you like you know some detail and some specs and all that on each and every single item that you see here so without further ado let's just go ahead and get straight into it so the first thing that we're going to go over here is the professional umbrella lights now these came in like a kit and i believe it came with like three 
lights. It has like, you know, the umbrella, it has the stand and it also has the light bulbs and you know, it all came in one kit and everything It's really cool. And it wasn't really that expensive either, but I believe it came with three lights and three stands and everything, but I only used two. I used one on the left side and I used one on the right side. One is up a little bit higher. You can like, you know, extend the stand and everything. So the one on the left is a little bit higher than the one on the right, but this is what works for me. And the reason I use these, you know, lights is because, you know, my room is really dark. Even in the daytime, it seems to be like I only have like, I only have one window in my room and I normally just, you know, kind of keep that closed and everything. So light can't really, you know, get in. So my room is like really dark and I need light because it's dark and also the green screen requires light, you know, and everything. And it's just really great to have these lights. I really do enjoy them. The next thing we're going to go over is of course my PC. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys here. I have had this PC for probably around three or four years or so. So it's definitely has been a while, but honestly it's still running strong. It lets me do all of the things that I like to do on here. You know, mainly it's just edit videos, upload videos, also, you know, save the videos and everything. So it allows me to do all the things I want to do you know live stream as well i even play pc games on this pc here but i'm not really much of a pc gamer i normally just play on console but you're probably are wondering what the specs are for this pc let's go ahead and go over them now the specs for this pc it's a dell inspiron that is the name of this pc and it is a windows 10 the processor is an intel core i5 cpu at 3.10 gigahertz we have 8 gigabytes bytes of DDR3 RAM. We have a 64 bit operating system. We have a one terabyte hard drive. We also have a 500 gigabyte Samsung 850 Evo SSD. For the graphics card, we have a four gigabyte GDDR5 GeForce GTS 1050 Ti. We also have an Elgato HD60 Pro for recording. And on the top there, we have a Toshiba desktop external hard drive with three terabytes of memory. All right, so I think that's going to do it for the PC and the specs. Let's move on to the next thing. The next thing we have is some Astro Gaming headsets. These are the Astro A40s. I got these a really long time ago. I've had these for a while. As you can probably tell, they're kind of old and everything, but they still work great. I really do enjoy this headset. I actually use it for the PlayStation 4, but I believe these can be used on PC and Xbox One as well. Here's my PlayStation 4 controller. We have some control freaks and those are the Quick Revive Soda Edition. This looks like a regular PS4 controller, but this is actually a Scuf 4 PS controller. You can see that I have two paddles on the bottom, and those two paddles are the X and the circle button. I've had this controller for at least a year or two, for sure. It's been a while since I've actually gotten this controller, and I've been using it ever since, and it just works, man, and you know, it just works great. I really do enjoy it. So the next thing we have here is the PlayStation 4. Now, this is is like the original regular PS4. This isn't a PS4 Pro. This PS4 actually came with the 500 gigabyte hard drive. And then once that 500 gigabyte hard drive filled up, I had to actually take it out, swap it out with a two terabyte hard drive. And that is a Seagate two terabyte hard drive. And that's what I have in the PS4. And that's pretty much it as it goes for the PlayStation. So next up, we have the keyboard for my PC. And I'm going to be honest, I got this from Amazon a while back. I think it was like maybe a year ago and everything. And I'm going to be honest, I really didn't care what keyboard I had. I just really wanted one that lit up and changed colors. So that's what I got and everything. And it was actually kind of like a, you know, on the cheaper end, you know, but I mean, Hey, I actually really do enjoy this. And, you know, like I said, it does everything that I want it to do. So hopefully I'm pronouncing the name correctly, but this keyboard is a beyond tech Z seven, six, seven. It's USB wired. And also I got it in a combo and it came with the mouse that you see right here. Now the mouse doesn't change colors like the keyboard does, but it's still pretty cool 
cool. So nevertheless, I do enjoy it. It was way better than my old mouse and keyboard. That's for sure. And also you may notice the mouse pad is a Razer mouse pad, but I got it off of Amazon and it pretty much just brought everything together. So yeah. Next up on the list, I had to throw this in there. I got the no scope gaming glasses. Unfortunately, no scope gaming glasses is out of business, but I wanted to throw it in there because I used to be like in their affiliate program and everything. I have two pairs of these one pair I don't use anymore, but these I use all the time and everything it helps out with eye fatigue if you're staring at monitors, which I do a lot in the day. And also they're very comfortable to wear and they were also inexpensive as well. Next up, we have the Focusrite Scarlett Solo Audio Interface. This thing right here is really awesome because this is like the first time I have ever had an XLR microphone. In the past, I've used USB microphones. And this is like an audio interface that allows me to hook up my microphone, my XLR microphone, and then also hook it up to the PC so I can actually record the audio like I normally do in Audacity. Then sitting right next to the audio interface, I have the Astro mix amp. This powers on the Astros and let me use the Astros with the PlayStation 4 and also, you know, get the audio as well as use the Astro microphone itself. I even have this mix amp hooked up to the PC, which allows the PC audio to come through my Astros. The mix amp also allows you to turn up and down the audio within the headset, within the Astros. Next up, we have the webcam. This is a Logitech C920 webcam. I actually have used this a lot in the past. I used to use it for all of my videos as well as the live streams, but now I only use it for my live streams. I have another camera that I can use for, you know, my videos and everything. So honestly, this webcam doesn't really get used that much as it used to, but I still do use it because I like to live stream. Next up, we have the Xbox One controller. This controller is just a standard Xbox One controller that just basically comes with the Xbox One and it sits on a charging stand. The charging stand or the charging dock actually charges the Xbox One controller simply by just hooking it up to the back of the Xbox One. It's that easy. This right here that is sitting behind the Xbox One controller is the Cloud Lifter. As you can probably tell, I have my XLR microphone hooked up to this. And the reason why is because the XLR microphone that I have is really quiet. It records really quietly. I'm not 100% sure on the details, but it's like negative something decibels. So this cloud lifter will, of course, lift the audio to a normal amount. So right here we have a tripod, which my camera that I'm recording this video with usually sits on. And here's the camera that I was just mentioning right here. This is the camera that I normally record all of my videos with. Right now we have a bit of videoception because what you're watching, the clip that you're watching right now was recorded with the webcam. Everything else was recorded with this camera that you're seeing right here. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Sony Handycam camcorder. I'm not gonna go too much into the specs on this one as unfortunately, I'm not quite sure of the specs, but I will tell you this, it records in 1080p 60 FPS and that is full HD 1080p. And to me, this is a great camera. You know, it's got really good quality video and that's normally all I do is video I normally don't take pictures too often so for me this works really good next up we have the Xbox one which to be honest I don't really have that much to say about this as I play the PlayStation 4 more I don't really even play on the Xbox one that much I don't really have any you know games for it and quite frankly I don't even have Xbox live so yeah with that being said let's Let's just go ahead and move on to the next thing. Next up, we have my microphone stand, which is a Rode PSA-1. As you can probably tell, I just clipped it on straight to the desk. It was that easy to install. And also I got a green screen sleeve. It's kind of like a makeshift thing, but it definitely does work. The reason I have this green screen sleeve on here is because I like to hide the microphone
phone stand while I am actually recording videos as well as live streaming for you guys. So like I said, I do run a green screen in my videos and in my live stream. So if that sleeve wasn't there, you would see like a black bar the whole time. So basically it just makes the mic stand invisible in the video and like it's not even there. Sort of kind of like the microphone is just floating in the air. Next up, we have the microphone. This is the Shure SM7B XLR microphone. I am seriously happy to have this microphone. I used to use USB microphones. I had the Blue Snowball. I had the Blue Yeti as well as the Audio-Technica AT2020. This is the first XLR microphone that I have ever had, and honestly, I really do enjoy it. Out of all of the microphones that I have used on this channel, the Shure SM7B is definitely my favorite one. It's really great with recording audio, and if you're actually listening to the audio of this video right now, that is what I'm using. I am using the Shure SM7B to record the audio that you're listening to right now. All right, so the next thing on the list, we have the monitors. Now I have a three monitor setup, as you can see here, and they are the exact same. These monitors are an Asus 23 inch, two millisecond response time LED monitor. Now I'm not 100% sure, but one of these monitors I had first for a really long time, and then the other two came into play. I had the first one for about out, I would say a year or so and also it's really cool I have to mention this at the start of this year at the start of 2017 it was around April I got a really huge donation from Ashanti Bacon he gave me a hundred and fifty dollars total and also I had some money from doing YouTube for you know five years and everything I ended up getting my first paycheck and buying one of these monitors that you see here also also the monitor stand that you see holding the monitors up I actually bought that as well with you know YouTube money if you will and around that time I also bought the desk that you see here it was off of Amazon but it's an Ikea brand I like this desk because it gives me a lot of space a lot of room as you can tell I can fit everything on here and still have a good bit of room left but I definitely wanted to throw that in there to tell you guys thank you and everything because you know one of these monitors literally came from you guys by you guys supporting me and watching my videos literally I was able to buy a monitor so thank you for that all right so the next item on the list is like this acoustic foam here it's supposed to like you know get away the echo in the room and everything you're supposed to put it up on the wall and it's supposed to like sort of kind of like you know make the audio quality a little bit better you know if you just have you know plain walls it can you know cause an echo and whatnot so I figured I'd just put that up you know it's not all the way around my room it's not all the way around the wall and everything I only have like a little section of you know this foam and everything but I figured you know why not I'll just go for it see how it works and you know it's been up there forever I would say but with this foam on the wall as well as the carpet that's in my room I honestly I think the echo is pretty much gone I could you know put more of this foam on the wall but honestly I think it works for now I don't think it's really necessary all right so last but not least we have have the DX Racer gaming chair and oh my gosh I gotta be honest with you guys I've had this chair for about a year and a half two years not 100% sure but I always sit in this chair you know I'm always in my room I'm always playing video games always live streaming always doing something so I definitely have to have a comfortable chair and I have to be comfortable sitting in this chair this is the most comfortable chair I have ever sit in I'm gonna be honest this is really comfortable I can sit in this chair you know hours upon hours and have no problems whatsoever it's also a good chair for your back as well as your posture and also is blue and black so it definitely matches with the whole setup and it brings the whole setup together it looks really cool as well it's not like your normal chair it's got a really nice design 
and material and you know it also comes with like you know a second pillow you can see I have a head pillow at the top but it also comes with a second pillow which I don't use because if I'm being honest I put that second pillow on and it did not feel as comfortable without it so I feel more comfortable in the chair without that second pillow all right guys so that's gonna do it for me today and this video hopefully you have enjoyed watching and hopefully you enjoy the setup I know that this was a really long video but I wanted to go over each and every single thing and go into detail with each and every single thing and I think I covered that so guys don't forget to leave a like to support the video subscribe to become part of team warfare today in the comment section let me know what you thought of this video and what is your favorite part of my setup so guys I appreciate each and every single one of you thank you for supporting and also thanks for watching